Christmas, seedlings. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. But Merry Christmas. Um, you should be seeing this right before Christmas. So we're going to do a fun video. We are just going to talk about our Christmases and how amazing they are. And we're hoping and praying that you have amazing Christmases coming up in the next couple days. So, Andy, why is your Christmas awesome? Well, you know, my Christmas is have always been awesome, and it, it's not about the stuff; uh, it's about the people, mm -hmm. right? Um, so, as a kid, we we always woke up early in the morning, and my mom made Christmas great, right? And she hid gifts once in a while, and me, you always got the batteries, you know, and you knew something was coming that needed batteries and everything. Yeah. But before we opened presents, or right after we opened presents, it depended on on the year. Uh, we would have ham and breakfast with cinnamon rolls and orange juice, and it was all you could drink orange juice, which was a big deal in my world. Um, it, and like we, we did this whole thing together. And then we would um, get to play with our toys for a few minutes, but then we went to my grandma's. Um, and at my grandma's, it was usually multiple extended family people, and it was just, you got to spend Christmas with your family, and it was family all day. And then usually, uh, we would come home at night and play games and have more family over and just it was constantly family so it was never about it wasn't about what we got that, that was that was fun but it was really truly about you know who we spent it with right and and it's the same as i've been married and and you know with with timothy oh, it's the same type of thing i might our first married christmas my wife and i decided we were going to go to everybody's house that we needed to go to on the on Christmas Day it was really important. Oh my gosh! So we got up and we did our <laughs> Christmas really early. Uh, we went down to my parents really early. Uh, we went then across the the driveway to my grandparents, and then we got in the car and drove eight hours to Michigan. Um, and we got to Michigan about 10 o'clock at night and tried to do Christmas and it was exhausting and it didn't go well. You're an overachiever. And it, <laughs> it sounded good to see everybody on Christmas. Oh, yeah. But what Surprise. we realized is it's also about valuing those people yeah. and actually taking oh, good yeah. time. So for me, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Christmas is about the people that you love and getting to spend time with them and, and getting to watch them open things and just be excited and all of those kind of things. So that's my Christmas. Yeah. Tell me about and tell our seedlings about <laughs> your Christmas. Maybe someday they'll be hatchlings. I, I, they might progress. You guys going to hatch? <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's a, it's a good thought process. People Seed are like, to hatchling. There you go. Wait, that's not how that works. I, anyway. All right. Christmas. Christmas. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... It's changed so many times over the years. You know, when you're a kid, you do one thing. And I mean, for me anyway, it's changed a lot. I know you're like still where your family is. So, but I've moved a lot. So, um, as an adult, Christmas was kind of exhausting because it was like you said, you know, like multiple days of like, literally multiple days of like hopping around and spending Christmas. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, you have to go to this person's house because they have dinner and you, you have to eat 12 desserts that day because you literally have to eat everyone's dessert that they made just for you and oh my gosh. So it was a lot, it was really good. Lots of good family time, but it's it was like exhausting. So my Christmas has morphed. I've kind of become like an old stubborn person. <laughs> Shocker if you know me. Um, and my husband and I a few years ago said, we're staying home for Christmas. We don't have the kid excuse. We don't have any excuse. We just said no. We're gonna we're gonna just enjoy our Christmas alone because in all those traveling things, like we would end up like at the end of like the groups of days off or vacation mm. time we took off of work, like the last night right before we had to get up to go to work, like doing our Christmas together, yeah. and that just kind of sucked. So we were like, you know, you know what? Like we want to. We're so busy. We worked so much. Like my husband and I just worked like all the time. I work less now, but that we didn't we didn't have like Christmas together, you know. We just kind of like did it together, and it's just been so awesome to like we spend the whole we I go to bed first and Santa comes, yeah. and I'm not allowed out of the room. And we get up at like five in the morning when it's dark and I plug in all the lights, and Santa came and. <laughs> I do what my mom did, and I bring out, like, all the cookies I made us, and we woof down a bunch of cookies at, like, 5 a.m. while we open presents, and then we take our first nap, and 
then wake up and then maybe play a game. And I like to like prep a food thing that's like super easy. So I'm usually like big on cooking, but I'm like, no, that's my off day. Throw something in, let it be easy. And we'll take five naps and it doesn't matter what time it is. It doesn't matter what's going on and we just enjoy it. And then we have a brunch that we do every year for like our closest friends and family that just come to our house and we have white elephants and we all dress ridiculously hideously and it's that's like our our on christmas family christmas mm-hmm. that we create and then like us- usually later in january or something we we go and visit like extended family but at christmas is a little different now and we've done that but have you do you have anything new that you're doing this year do you have any new traditions you're going to put in place or New fun things? Yeah, well, so I apparently I have been invited to this Christmas brunch, <laughs> right? So so normally um, I am very, probably guarded is the word around Christmas time because you get invited to so many different things <sighs> yeah. and to so many different So houses. popular. And I am. And, and we get to, you know, we get to experience a bunch of, a bunch of Christmas, um, but you know, always in that, in my people-pleasing world, it's about not wanting to hurt people if we can't do this and can't do this. And of course, when Timothy was younger, you know, there were concerts and there were all kinds of things that we had to go do. Um, But what I noticed was sometimes we get so busy doing Christmas Mm -hmm. that we don't enjoy Christmas. Mm -hmm. Um, And so, like you, in the last few years, we've we've really made a a, a decision to enjoy Christmas, right? right? And and so... um, this year, part of that is like picking something that we haven't done and, and something that we would like to do. And that happens to be going to a brunch that is highly promoted as a great event. Um, and and really trying to enjoy that, like you said, with some really close friends and some, some people that we uh, just love spending time with. Yeah. So what about you? What's new this year? Oh, it's a, it's it's been a weird year, right? I mean, I kind of had to split my brunch in half, so that, <laughs> that's kind of new. But I get to do it twice, so there's part of me that's like, yay, two parties. But um, yeah, you know, this year we've you've heard us talk a lot about like friendship and and it's it's different this year, you know, like and like you were saying about doing things differently and trying new things and focusing on different things. I've been, I've definitely been trying to focus more on the relationships, right? And less on like what gifts you give people and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Like more just the people part of it. And like, you know, are, am I, am I loving the people that I love, that I say I love, right? Am I actually loving them? So that's been like, all I've been focusing on this month and do the events look different like a little bit but I think my heart's a little bit more different yeah. than than last year it was all just about like like you said doing it and then like the month's over in five seconds because you're like well on this day I had this and this day I had this and this day and it's like Ugh. <laughs> and I made 5,000 cookies and everybody loves them super I haven't tasted one you know like that kind of thing and I haven't made any cookies yet so uh, I know that our, our viewers who know you and I um, know that uh, we, we like to kid around and, and we like to make other people smile. And a lot of it's out of like semi-serious stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, so here's my question to you so that all of our world can, can hear this and hear you say this, right? So you had to split your brunch into two, <laughs> to two parts, right? That's so what, what I want to know, and, and I'm sure what our viewers want to know is, um, which brunch am am I in? Am, am I in the the bestest friends group or the second brunch? Oh well, I definitely know what you want to hear. You're in the bestest friends group, but I split it into two bestest friends groups for health reasons. See, I, two bestest friends groups. So you're not gonna win this one. I feel They're like this is friends. what happens at Christmas time. <laughs> People are always trying to make everybody happy. So we, man, we hope that, that your Christmas is happy uh, this year as well. I'm going to let Summer give the official Seeds Christmas, hey, we wish you a Merry Christmas thing. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Seedlings, Merry Christmas. We love you. God loves you. And we are praying that none of this worldly nonsense um, ruins your Christmas. 
we know that um, everything is, is kind of hard right now. And we also know that if you have Jesus and you are focused on him, that you can have a great, awesome, merry Christmas mm -hmm. and have fun with friends and family. And it might look different, but that doesn't have to take over the entire thing. Christmas is about love. It's about God's love and how he gave us Jesus so that we could be with him. Mm -hmm. So focus on that and you will have the best Christmas ever. We love you guys. Have a great Christmas.